All right, so here she is, the former UFC strawweight champion, Thug Rose Nama Yunus. Amazing what she was able to do against Joanna Yim. J check times two, another big spot for the 115 pounder here tonight. And John Cora, as impressive as that first young J check fight was, I believe the second one was even better because it showed the true evolution of Rose Nama Yunus. To be able to stand for 25 minutes and outstrike Joanna Yim, J check was truly, truly something special. Initially, she was one of those fighters that was trying all kinds of things and wasting actions. Right. But now, as she won the belt, you saw her really find herself, and it showed in the second Young Jacek fight. Rose Namagins steps into the octagon, and this time she wants to leave with the belt. are on the UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion as she tries to succeed in defending the title yet again. She's one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters, man or woman, on this roster and prohibitively favored yet again in defense of her title. I love her confidence. I just love the way she carries herself as the champion. You don't have to know she's the champ to know she's the champ because when you look at her, she has that star ability about her. And even though she has that, all of it's rooted in her fighting ability. She is one of the best the Octagon's ever seen. And I do think she could be a double champion, but she was sort of reticent to hear that conversation. She is focused on the task in front of her tonight. All right, both fighters have graced the Octagon, and that means we are ready to go with live action from the Scotiabank Arena here in Toronto, where some of the best fans in all of MMA have come out to see our fights here tonight. Our tale of the date for this women's Bantamweight Championship fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Fog Rose Narayunas. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World. Third game, third man in the yeah, octagon right. for this one. Ready. Ready. All right, we are underway. Here is Doug Rose Nama Yunus with Trevor Whitman in her corner. She's not afraid to let the fight come to her. Certainly has some first round finishes to her credit. Angela Hill, UFC 192 comes to mind, but this is a fighter who gets stronger as the fight goes on. We'll see how Nama Yunus approaches things here in the early going. Beautiful job landing that head kick. Man, these women are delivering for fight fans around the world. What a start to this fight. How could you possibly be seated when you are watching this level of activity from these two women at the beginning of the fight? Put your hands up higher. Come on. Oh, man, are these shorts mic'd up? Did you hear that inside leg kick? No, that is just the force that she is throwing her entire body into that inside leg kick. Went for the inside leg kick. Keep going with that. Oh, great, great level change here. Oh, and with conviction, she moves right into half guard. Without much effort, she was able to pass from her full guard right into half guard. 
All right, she's in the north-south position. Oh, in good position to rip off a Kimura here. Ooh, that Kimura looks tight. She is so aware of the ground, and she escapes a deep submission attempt. What a great job getting that kick to the target. Oh, nice. Nice. Just over three minutes to go. Push kick there to the body. And she is just breaking her down with volume tonight as she lands another combination. I mean, over and over, she is just landing so many different attacks. It's amazing to watch someone never throw less than three. She's throwing at least three every time she enters. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Rose Namajunas. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Namajunas. She's got her back now, DC, and I don't mean she's like there to support her, right? She is literally on her back and in control of this fight. She's in control of this fight. Look for her to start trying to slide that arm under the neck to finish the fight with a chill. Win the scramble! Win the scramble! Well, Nama Yunus is back in full guard now. Making all these shots count. So look at this, DC, she's got her in rubber guard. I know we've seen a lot of Eddie Bravo pupils employ this with pretty good success in the UFC. What are you trying to do, though, here if you're that fighter? If I'm in the rubber guard, I'm trying to really slow you down and hope that you make a mistake so I can get off one of those submissions that will always keep you on the hot. Attempting a choke now. Ooh, look out, that thing is tight. It's advancing, she's about to finish. Getting their chest flat to the mat and defending that arm triangle. All right, so after a great back and forth engagement on the ground, the fighters get back to their feet and the crowd really showing their support for these two women. The crowd goes crazy because they appreciate the high level grappling that these two women just exhibited for them. 45 seconds remain in the round. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Nama Yunus, what a strike by her there. I'd be knocked out, her opponent still stands. She's still standing, but she's got to get on her bike, John. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon, find some space so that she can evade her opponent for finishing. Oh, that's weak now. Oh, she's out. First round winding down here. Move her head pretty good on the ground here, avoiding a lot of these shots. Oh. One shot for the end of round one. All right, respira, respira, calma. Olha, você não pode receber tantos danos assim, tá? Ela tá causando muito danos no seu corpo, ok? All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, Will. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, so there's the end of the round. We're going to get you some replays here. Her submission offense is outstanding. Just unable to get it tight enough there. Ready. She's such a great grappler. She manipulates you so well on the ground that you see why people try to avoid grappling with her at all costs. But she got the fight where she wanted to. She almost got the submission that would have ended the fight. Nice straight punch there. Well, she's got a good jab. Miss with it there. Beautiful jab there by the champ. 
Oh, Trevor Whitman's got to like that beautiful combination from Rose Namajunas. Rose Namajunas is so solid. I mean, she's so good with her footwork. She knows how to set fire. She's a phenomenal striker and one of the best female fighters in the UFC's history. Stuff to take down, no problem. Oh, big elbow. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Well, the right hand has been there for her tonight at times. Not that time. Big kick lands. Well, she has become a master of the single leg takedown here in MMA, and she got it done there once again. She has learned that she can get ahead of her opponent with a single leg finish. She has so many different techniques to finish. Her opponents can't keep up with her. Oh, she's got her back. All right, she postures up here, DC. We'll see if she can get those ground strikes. Watch for the huge elbows that she's known for. Great shot from the top position. Nice transition. She's got side control now. Maybe some of those knee strikes to the body. A lot of different things available to her here. Now, in the side control, you may feel like the bottom person that you have a lot of outs, but there is a lot of danger in those positions, too. A lot of danger in the knees coming your way. A lot of danger in the chokes. So you have out, but you're also constantly under duress from a great top fight. Oh, good ground and pound here. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. Right into side control. All right, so a pretty interesting development here in terms of this fighter's evolution. Just as we saw in the last round, primarily a jiu-jitsu athlete having a... Oh, arm triangle! Arm triangle! Arm triangle! Ooh, arm triangle's in tight! It's getting in very tight. Oh, that's got to be it. Oh, she got out. How good is that? Man, look at the redness almost immediately on the right side of her body. She's a beast. Those body kicks will really pay dividends. Missed on the right hand. She gained separation, breaks that clinch position. Just over a minute to go round two. Well, you know she can do it all in the octagon tonight. She is largely a striker, and man, has she had it going really from the opening bell. From the start of the fight, you could see that she was different tonight. You could see that she was going to lean on the cardio, set a high pace, and hope that her opponent could not keep up. But not only is she fighting hard, she is landing just about everything that she throws. Nice jab by Rose Namajunas. Nice takedown. Oh, my God. Oh, beautiful hip toss there to take her down. She's flying Cormier Airlines tonight. She's flying first class. She got thrown right on her head. You've got to keep those hips back if you're going to defend this position. Well, Nama Yunus's pass is denied. Massive shot from the top. Oh, nice. And there she goes again, landed another strike on the ground. Oh, well played there as she gets back to her feet. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Good round. All right, let us now check out some of the action from that round, DC, and what a display of striking for her. Yeah, she did a fantastic job of finding her spot, putting herself in position, 
where she was the one landing and really dictating the pace of the fight. She did a great job of mixing up everything to get in control. You ready? You ready? Do it. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh, lands a nice straight. Wow, what a head kick. Oh, uppercut lands. More strikes to the head. That opened up a cut around her eye area. Got to shore up the defense. Yeah, she's got to move her head. She has not moved her head effectively, and now she's dealing with the cut. Lands a nice leg kick. Yunus gets the single leg takedown. She's trying to pass here, gets denied. Got denied because she's so aware, so on top of the grappling transition. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Namayutz. Oh, when you get in a bad spot on the ground and you want to reverse it, that's what you need to do. Master class in changing position, unreal to see. Pretty good offense from the bottom fighter as she lands again. Nicely done. Well, she'll ground you and she will pound you. These strikes are really starting to add up. They're starting to add up because now she's more willing to take chances knowing that she can land. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. Continues to get ripped up. The judges are looking for damage and damaging moments, and her body investment has been the narrative in this fight. Early, you may not have been able to see how much of an effect this was taking on her, but now she's had a huge strike right there, DC. Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one off to finish the fight. Oh. off of her back. Always thinking offense, even if she's in a defensive position. She's starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Lands a big elbow there. Nama Yunus has got a bruise appearing on that left side now. Got to think that bodily investment is going to pay dividends later in the fight. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Under two minutes now to go in our third round. She has a huge like Nice. Oh, judo toss. Made it look easy. Well, Nami Yunus' pass attempt did not. All right, so now she's in the dominant position after a beautiful reversal on the ground. Oh, reverses the position now. Outstanding work on the ground by Rose Namajunas. Oh, man, is she landing some flush elbows here, DC. The opposition better adjust and quickly. Better adjust, or she is going to tear right through them. Going for an arm bar now. What a tight arm bar. Oh, that's out to me. Oh, great submission defense as she gets out. Oh, she is wearing it. Bleeding from her cheek now. All right, less than a minute here to go now in round three. Good work from the top here by Namajus. And there it is, another strike gets through on the ground. Oh, and there it is. So after an extended battle on the ground, she gets back to her feet, and the crowd is absolutely eating it up. She was not going to settle on her back. Even though it was very difficult, she finally works her way back up, and now she's got to let the hands go. Well, Nama Yunus' nose is cut now, and she's starting to deal with some blood in that area. 20 seconds left. 
Oh, how good is her switch kick? That was beautiful. She's so good at doing that switch action to confuse her opponent. And then she tries her shit right into her opponent's pocket. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Now oh, the first five minutes. All right, so there's the horn indicating the end of the round. We will keep an eye on this cut. You see the cut man racing in there. Cut, it looks like it's on the bridge of the nose. He'll try to shut that thing and prevent it from being a factor for her here moving forward. Looks like he'll close it up now. All right, so there's the end of the round. And in terms of offensive wrestling execution, she had it all going there. Yeah, she had it all working. She did everything she wanted to do. She was racing to position. Once she got to a leg, she didn't pause. She didn't stop. She went right to the finishes that she needed in order to get the fight to the ground. I mean, that was a great display of offensive wrestling. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of the fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be hard. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. Well, it is not the worst cut we've ever seen in the UFC, but a lot of blood donation happening right here, right now, as her opponent continues to target that area. Yeah, I mean, you are a, you have a, a fighter in front of you who is so disciplined, who is so sharp. You have got to get on your bicycle, you got to get on the outside, limit the damage, get between rounds, and then try to reset, because right now, this cut is only getting worse. That's big. Takedown defense holds up. And they separate. Beautiful left hand. Punch got to the target. Oh, nice double look, yes. In the half guard. Nice shot lands from the bottom. Beautiful transition. Look at that, going into the armbar. Oh, arms in tight. She's trying to finish the armbar. She's got to be patient, though. If she rushes, she will lose this position. Oh, somehow she gets out. It was locked in. She somehow survived. She is so dominant from the top position. All right, so her submission attempt is denied yet again. She's going to keep going for it, but the defense has held up every step of the way thus far. She has to. She has to keep going for it. Because if she wants a chance, she's got to keep trying to throw up submissions. Unfortunately, she is trying to submit one of the best grapplers in the division. Well, new round, same result as she continues to attack the body. Look at the turnover in that kick. Well, that left hand has been there for her tonight, not on that attempt. Great body kick there. Any body kick may finish this fight. It does not have to be the front one up the middle. That was a nice takedown, yes. Good fight here, under two to go. Conviction, she moves right into half guard. Without much effort, she was able to pass from her full guard right into half guard. She's got her back now. Mm, that was nice. Nice ground strikes landed by her from top position now. All right, she's got the full mount here, DC. It's hard for me to remember a time in which you were fully mounted in the UFC. I have never been full mounted, 
I hope to never be full mounted. And this young lady now finds herself in this position. In this position, what's very key is that she cannot panic. Oh, how good is her submission defense there? All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Constantly a moving target. This is a terrible position. Oh! oh, heavy shots continue to rain down. She is reading things pretty well defensively as she's able to dodge that strike on the ground. She's got her eyes open and she's very aware of everything coming in her direction. Horn sounds for the end of round four. Masha, respira. Oh, tá muito bom esse round, okay? You did really well the last round. Let's get this last round in now, okay? You just gotta be patient. Well, she absorbed way too many damaging strikes in that previous round. We'll see if we can isolate the replay that caused the cut. Yeah, she was on the receiving end of a beating, man. It did not look competitive. And when you get hit with shots like this, big shots, shots that matter, you start to show damage. That cut opened up, and she is really struggling with it now. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fifth and final round, fourth cover. All right, so for a moment in that previous round, it looked like she might get the superstar. there, probably her best strike of the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class, but she lands, and she lands very effectively. End this fight. Oh. Just out of the range with that right hand. Oh, she works the body as well as anybody in this division. Another strike there, and these shots are really going to take their toll as this fight moves on. Really nice job blocking that shot. Heavy leather landed on both sides, and that is... Oh, you got to keep pressing here. Could be the beginning of the end. Trying to kick the leg out. Connects with a beautiful jab. Well, she continues to land to the body, attacking those organs right. Not a lot of protection there, and we're seeing some visible damage now on the other side. Visible damage. She's done a tremendous job understanding and recognizing where the weakness was. And she has exploited that, and she's going to continue as she tries to get her hand raised. She's trying to recover full guard there. DC, I know you got my back. She's got her back, and she can do a lot of damage from here. I've got your back as I'm your boy, J.A. She's got her back as if she wants to end her night right now. She's got to be very careful. Why right, she's setting up for a submission now. She's looking for a finish on the ground. It's tight. It's tight. She's got great leg submissions, and now she's on the heel hook. She cannot allow her opponent to roll around too much, finding a way out. Oh, she escapes. Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters upright. All right, I'm going to put you in this fighter's shoes, okay? She is clearly losing this fight. Time is not her friend right now. You going for the finish or what? I am biting down on the mouthpiece, and I am swinging from the hip. Something has to land so that she can win this fight. Oh, she is absolutely getting lit up right now. She has certainly changed her approach here in the latter stages of this fight. She is trying to take the judges out of it. That'll certainly help that go. See where does she go from here? She needs to be passing right away, passing, trying to pass to get good ground and pound off. Under two minutes now to go in the fight. Well, now Eunice is in half court. Way to kick her off and try to get some space to get up. 
trying to hammer that lead leg. Well, desperation time for her now. She is clearly behind on the judges' scorecards, and as desperate as she needs to be, I'm not sure she's got the cardio to be desperate. I mean, at this point, I don't know what she can do to try to change the way this fight has been going. I, she finds herself out of cardio, out of options. I don't know what she can do to win this fight. Man, she's got it all going with the hands, with the feet tonight, and that cut is really becoming a factor now as this fight continues. Yes, yeah, she's got to move, Jay. She's got to get on the license. She's got to get to jump. Oh, great submission defense. One minute to go. Oh, nice headlock. Oh, tense moment here. That arm triangle's tight. This has got to be in the fight. It's over. Absolutely remarkable what this fighter was able to accomplish here tonight. Really nice job by her there to execute the submission. Clearly she had an opening and she closed the show pretty effectively there. That is one of the bigger wins of her UFC career. Now we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 13 seconds of round number five. For the winner, by submission, and new undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Fog Rose Narayunas! Thug Rose Namajunas, your winner tonight, still proving that on any given night she's the best strawweight in the world. She's one of the best fighters in the world, and anytime she goes to the octagon, you better be ready and prepared for a very tough fight.